some of the supplies have started turning up for my new display tank over here. You can see I put a bit of the sand in. Got more sand here, some wood, got some dragonstone rocks. But I thought I'd just start by having a bit of a mess around in the dry and um, with some possible scape. I'm not sure whether I'm just going to go with rocks and plants or wood and plants or a combination of the two. So I thought I'll just give it a bit of a mess around and see what happens, see what I like, see what I don't. So as you can see, not got water in, still not got the cabinets fitted yet, not sure when they're coming. At the sump in place, there's a auto top off reservoir that's to go here. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to put in the sump entirely. Um, but I've got all the pipe work fitted. Ooh. He says as he trips over. And yeah, we've got these overflows and returns. Which all fit nicely in here. I'm going to the sections in the sump. I've also got a light which is a uh, Aquarian Eco LED light. It's the one for planted tanks. Um, the Aquarian Eco um, full spectrum version. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got whites, blues, reds, greens. Um, I've just got one at the minute, but space for two. I might get another one. We'll see how we get on. I'm also planning on running carbon on this tank. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go on. So I'll put on a bit of a time lapse. You can see how we get on. So, so far, that's, just, that's what I've done, I quite like it, um, I'm sure I'll change my mind and play around a bit some more, but I quite like the overall effect, I'm trying to imagine it with plants as well. Probably better at night time so you can see it a bit better, 
So my idea is over in this corner it will be quite large plants at the back, probably some vowels or a nice big Amazon sword or some kind of tall plant like that. And mosses and crypts and anubias and things like that tied to the branches of the trees and to the rocks or super glued. Um, but I like lots of swimming space which is good. I might take out some of the sand that's quite thick. It's not as thick as I was going for but I'll probably just move some of it back and get a bit of a slope going from this corner. I'm not going to plant in that corner. Well, I don't know. Most of the plants are going to go on the rocks and the twigs. Um, but next, I'll fill it up and get it wet. We'll see how we got on from there. So, left over. Got a bunch of rocks and a bunch of wood, which I'll use for the school tank that I'm building for my kids' primary schools. I'll do a video on that someday. But for now, I think we'll call it quits there. So, we've got water in now. In and circulating. Um, messed about with the scape a little bit more, but it's essentially the same. I can't really decide if I want to keep it like this. I quite like that look. Or if I'm going to go ahead and plant it. Um, but yes, I shall make that decision, no doubt. Let me know in the comments if you think either way. Um, yeah, so I've got it in, got water in. Basically just got a little bit of filter floss in there to catch the dust from the sand that hadn't been washed away. Um, but so the sump you can see is several sections. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but so far it's looking like... So that's the return section or the overflow section, baffle into there, I'll have filter floss on top of there and then probably sponge or maybe pot scrubbers or something like that, but probably a layer of sponge at least on top, goes through into there, in here I've been just messing about with bio balls to see what the noise was like and I might have what, K1 or something like that, fluidized bed media, into here uh, another probably be more bio media in there, like Alpha Grog or Bio Home or something along those lines. Here I've just got the heaters that may well put in some reactors and things like that if I want to. And the turn pump in this section. Uh, and underneath this. So I've mounted uh, this aquarium heater controller. It's an Elitech STC 1000. All I've done is just built it into a box there so it neatens it up a little bit. And I've got a light which I mounted there, the wave maker controller and the power strip just to move everything out of the way. You may notice a racket from down here. So this is meant to be silent, obviously isn't it? But most of this noise will be covered up when the cabinets get fitted. But what I'm more concerned about is I've got these um, ultra reef overflows. So two of them there, and then one return over there. But the constant gurgling and sucking noise that's coming from them is doing my head in. I can't think of a way to quieten them down. But they were sold to me as the latest technology in ultra up to date overflows. So the guy's coming to fit my cabinets soon, hopefully. And as it was him that sold me on them, I'm hoping he's going to explain to me how I can quieten them down a little bit. But. Hopefully just teething problems. Uh, I've still got my auto top off to sort out. I've probably got a lid on the sump. I'm not sure whether I'm going to run CO2 or not. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. But Next big update will be cabinets on, hopefully in the next couple of days. 
and then new fish in. So, stay tuned for that one. Remember, as always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. See you later.